Hey everyone. Today's topic, you can't assume everyone is like the people you've dated. I see this happen fairly often where someone gives up on dating because of their past partners and they make the incredibly unhelpful assumption that every single partner option they have out there is going to be like their past partners. And even if you've experienced this to be mostly the case, that doesn't actually mean that your partner options are always going to fall into this certain category or mold. If anything, what it means is you probably need to do some inner work because you're attracting a certain mold of people or you are attracted to a certain mold of people. But that doesn't mean that all your, your options are only in the people who fall within that category or mold. It just means you need to work on yourself enough to raise your standards. This is a, a great example of this would be women who constantly go for guys who end up cheating on them. It's because they're attracted to the certain mold of like the, the bad boy kind of guy who doesn't give two craps about her feelings towards him and he doesn't really care about her. So he's going to go out there and do what he wants. He's going to cheat on her without caring about how it affects her. And if she's attracted to that kind of man, she's going to have a lot of relationships with men who cheat on her like that. But that doesn't mean that all the partner options she has are men who cheat. It just means she's going for the same kinds of guys over and over again. And that's the problem, her mindset. Not all men out there. It doesn't mean every single guy out there is a cheater. No, it just means she needs to raise her standards and work on herself work on all the issues and insecurities that are causing her to go after the specific mold of men. Hopefully that example can convey what I mean here because it's just so unfortunate when people give up on dating because they make that a that mistake of assuming that everyone out there is like the people they've already dated in the past because it's simply not true. The only way that will continue going forward is if you don't work on yourself and you continue to go after that same specific mold. You can see this rather often with many people because people do tend to be attracted to certain molds. But what many people fail to realize is that attraction is based on their level of maturity, their level of self growth, because the more you work on yourself, your standards will naturally raise as well. You'll stop tolerating people who don't care about you. You'll stop tolerating people who are way more likely to cheat because let's be honest, that's a certain character mold of people who are prolific cheaters. Like they're all, they have similar qualities that they share. So if you're attracted to those qualities, then yeah, the odds of your partner cheating on you will skyrocket because you're going after people who are more likely to do that. So it's really important to just always be working on yourself so that way you tolerate higher quality people and you're not going to tolerate the people who are bad partners for you. The people who cheat, basically some red flags to watch out for are people who don't care about you, people who don't respect you, don't respect your time, meaning they're constantly showing up late to dates or they're not communicating constantly to fill you in on things, people who seem like they're prolifically busy all the time and just don't have any time for you, it usually means they don't care about you because people will make time for you if they truly like you and want to include you in their life and just somebody showing that they have empathy towards you. If those things are missing, then why even get involved with that person? I'm not saying you shouldn't have fun with them, but still be careful because even when you have fun with someone, you can still catch feelings and you want to make sure that for the most part, you aren't setting yourself up to catch feelings for someone who is no good for you. So just go about your dating life consciously. Treat it like something important because it is. Like people so often discount the impact that our partners can have on us. And I'm not just talking about like your, your naughty business partners. I mean, in general, the more you spend time with these people, the more likely they are to rub off on you in some way, shape or form. No pun intended. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to derail the true my train of thought with that joke. Oh crap. But basically what I mean is their behaviors, their hobbies, the way they think, those things can rub off on you the more that you spend time with them. So you really want to make sure you're going after people who are actually somewhat like role models per se. Maybe not, you know, entirely like a role model because that would be hard to find and that would set up a weird dynamic in your relationship where they have like all this power over you because you look up to them. Yeah, <laughs> getting too little there, but you want them to be someone basically that's a good person, someone 
that you could see yourself marrying. Like, do not treat dating like this willy-nilly thing, because if you go for bad people, they could horribly affect your self-esteem. They could destroy you in some regards in that way. So it's just, it's not worth it, guys. Like, I know we live in this this day and age of modern dating where it's all about having fun, trying to have your cake and eat it too. But guess what? Life doesn't really work that way. You can't always have your cake and eat it too because sometimes you're going to get burned. Sometimes you'll get hurt. You'll have fun with someone. You'll catch feelings for them. They'll treat you horribly and make it so your self-esteem lowers and you develop all these insecurities and trust issues and so on and so forth. It isn't worth it. So just make sure you go about dating as consciously as possible and don't make the mistake of assuming that everyone out there is going to be like your past partners because that's an issue of your standards. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video. I truly hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you like content like this, be sure to subscribe for more. Otherwise, the easiest way you can help me out is just to throw a like and a comment on the video for the algorithm and I will see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci!